Camera Raw has a lot of tools that many people still don't know about. In this video, I'll walk you through 15 practical Camera Raw tips, from numbers all the way to light. Tip 1. Denoising underexposed photos. This is an underexposed photo. When you brighten it in post-processing, the image may look brighter, but once you zoom in, you'll clearly see noise everywhere. At this point, in Camera Raw, open the Detail panel and use Denoise. Wait for the processing to finish, and most of the noise is almost completely gone. The image looks cleaner and smoother while the important details are still preserved. Tip 2. Doubling image resolution. Once you're familiar with denoise, many people assume camera raw stops there. But right inside the detail panel, there's another powerful tool called super resolution. When you enable super resolution, the image resolution is doubled. When you zoom in, the difference becomes very clear. Details look sharper especially in distant and fine areas. One important thing to remember, only raw images can use denoise or super resolution, and you can only choose one of them at a time. Tip 3. Opening JPG files directly in Camera Raw. Here, I have two files, one raw file and one JPG file. You can see that when you drag a raw file into Photoshop, it opens automatically in Camera Raw. But JPG files don't. A lot of people want JPG images to open directly in Camera Raw to save time in their workflow. To do that, press Ctrl plus K to open Preferences, go to File Handling, and open Camera Raw Preferences. In the File Handling section, expand JPEG and choose Automatically Open All Supported JPEGs. From now on, whether you open one JPG or multiple JPGs, they will go straight into Camera Raw. Tip 4. S-curve without increasing saturation. Your image looks a bit flat, so you open curves and create an S-shaped curve. The image looks clearer and more dynamic, but at the same time, contrast increases and saturation goes up as well. If you don't want saturation to become too strong, simply pull the saturation slider down slightly after adjusting curves. This way, the overall tone stays the same, the contrast is still there, but the colors feel more balanced and much easier to control. Tip 5. Snapshot. Go back at any time. A lot of people color grade by feel. Sometimes you get a great look, but then you keep adjusting and end up ruining it. Before making further changes, open the Snapshot tool and create a snapshot. Snapshot saves all your current settings, so you can continue experimenting without worrying about losing a good result. While editing, you can also create additional snapshots to save different stages of your work. If you're not happy with the result, just click on a snapshot, and the image will return to the exact state you saved earlier. Tip 6. Create your own preset. In Camera Raw, there are many built-in presets that help you color grade faster. But you can also create your own preset. Open the Preset panel, click Create Preset, give it a name, and you can even create a separate group to keep things organized. Here, you can choose which settings from this image you want to save, including masking. Personally, I usually don't include masking because masks depend heavily on position and can easily become inaccurate when applied to another image. Once saved, your preset will appear right here. Open another image and apply it, and you already have a solid color base to work from. Tip 7. Control color wheels more precisely. In color grading, even a small movement can cause a big color shift, so it's very easy to overdo it. When dragging a color wheel, hold Alt to adjust more slowly and more precisely. If saturation is hard to control, hold Shift to lock saturation. If you want to change intensity without changing color, hold Ctrl to lock hue. With just these three keys, color wheel adjustments become much more stable and easier to control. Tip 8. Advanced Purple Fringing Removal with D-Fringe When shooting backlit scenes or harsh lighting, zooming in often reveals purple fringing along edges. In Optics, open D-Fringe, increase purple amount, and the purple fringing will fade away. You can also adjust the range to limit the affected area and avoid shifting other colors. If the purple is gone but a slight green fringe appears, Increase green amount and fine-tune its range. This is a small detail, but it's critical for images that need a clean, professional look. Tip 9. Color grading by region using masking. If you want full control over your image, don't skip masking. In Camera Raw, open masking. The shortcut for linear gradient is G. Press G, 
to add a linear gradient to the sky, shift the temperature toward cooler tones and slightly raise the exposure. Then add another linear gradient for the ground. By default, new masks inherit previous settings. Turn on reset sliders automatically so every new mask starts clean. Now, increase temperature and clarity to give the ground more depth and structure. Press J to add a radial gradient. Select the area with natural light and increase whites, temperature, and tint to create a focused light effect. With masking, you're not just adjusting color, you're shaping light across different areas of the image. Tip 10. Precisely limit mask influence. Sometimes a mask affects too much of the image. For example, you darken the ground, but the subject becomes darker as well. At this point, click Subtract, choose Brush, and paint over the area you want to protect. That area is removed from the mask and brightness returns naturally. You're not deleting the mask, you're simply controlling its influence more precisely. Tip 11. Intersect mask for natural light. When editing photos, many people simply select the subject and increase the exposure. It's fast, but the light often looks too harsh and a bit cut out, not very natural. To make the lighting feel more realistic, use an intersect mask at this step. Start with a radial gradient and place it over the subject. Then intersect it with the subject mask so the adjustment only affects the subject area, not the background. Now, when you brighten the image, the light stays focused, spreads more naturally, and feels much closer to real environmental light. Tip 12. Rotate the reference grid when using the crop tool to straighten an image. Sometimes the frame is tilted, but the reference lines are hard to see. In that case, turn on the grid overlay in the lower right corner and increase the grid opacity. Then go back to the crop tool. The reference lines will be much clearer, making it easier to align and straighten the image accurately. Tip 13. Orange and teal tone. Orange and teal is a very popular cinematic color style. It helps images look more dynamic and adds depth. In Camera Raw, scroll down to the calibration panel. Move the blue primary hue slider to the left. Then move the red primary hue slider to the right. You'll see the highlights shift warmer toward orange and the shadows shift cooler toward blue. Just one simple adjustment, but the color effect is strong and easy to control. Tip 14. Quick image rotation. Sometimes you shoot a vertical photo, but it appears horizontal because the camera was rotated incorrectly. Press L to rotate the image 90 degrees counterclockwise. Press R to rotate the image 90 degrees clockwise. Tip 15. Removing people directly in camera raw. Before, if you wanted to remove people from a photo, you usually had to open it in Photoshop. But now, right inside Camera Raw, you can do this very quickly. Select the Remove tool, then choose People. Camera Raw will automatically detect people in the image. You just need to click Remove. In just a few seconds, the person disappears from the frame and the background is filled in quite naturally. And that's all 15 Camera Raw tips. Hope they help you edit faster and with more control. Like, share, and comment what topic you want to see next. Thank you very much.